Hi, my name is Jerry Jen, and I'd like to introduce you to the subject of biogeometry and the ways to detect uh, the energies of biogeometry, the key energy of harmony, BG3. To do this, let's talk about uh, the concept of resonance, since resonance is uh, the basic science behind uh, me any measurements. Uh, in the field of radius seizure and in the field of uh, biogeometry. Resonance is pretty easy to de uh, define. Uh, if you have a tuning fork and you strike it, it will vibrate. And all tuning forks and octave, octaves above and octaves below the tuning fork that you have will also vibrate. If you have a monochord instrument, a string instrument, and you pluck the string, then all strings that are octaves above or octaves below that uh, note that you plucked will also vibrate. That is resonance. Resonance is used in the uh, concept of uh, measuring uh, the octaves, but it's used in, in terms of uh, measuring uh, the subtle energies uh, with pendulums. A pendulum is no different than a monochord instrument in the sense that the monochord is based upon the string length, uh, which gives the note that you uh, create. With a pendulum, it's the same concept. It's a string length between the fingers and the weight of the uh, pendulum that gives you uh, the wa the wavelength in which you can become uh, you can go into resonance with and you can therefore detect uh, the vibrations of uh, of an energy. Let's take an example of the color red. And here you're using what's called a neutral pendulum. And um, the color red is there and the pendulum is there. And so you're going to find the string length that resonates with the color red. So you're going to slip your fingers up the string. So the string is between your index finger and thumb. And you're going to move the string up and you're going to start a to and fro motion. And at the string length at, in which uh, is in resonance with the color red. In your mind, you determine that you want to be in uh, resonance with the color red. When that string length has been reached, the pendulum will rotate clockwise. Then you are in resonance, or your pendulum and you are in resonance with the color red. You typically use what's called neutral pendulums. Um, to do uh, biogeometry, that is to find resonance of, of objects. Uh, and there's an area called personal wavelength. I have a YouTube on that when you find the personal wavelength of yourself, which is very useful. But a neutral pendulum will not be resonating with, uh, if you have a colored pendulum, it, it may resonate with that color. If you have a crystalline pendulum, it'll resonate with uh, vibrational energies of that uh, type of, of crystal. So you choose a neutral pendulum. It could be acrylic ball, it could be a ball made of uh, dough. Uh, and here I made a Play-Doh with uh, flour and salt, and I described that in my book, uh, The Seeker and the Teacher of Light, how to make one of these things. Or you can use a wooden pendulum. Uh, it's not quite as neutral, but it will work uh, for the exercises that we're talking about. Biogeometry, what is it? It's the science of establishing harmony between biological fields and their environment through the use of design, language of color, form, motion, and sound. And that's the definition that Ibrahim, Dr. Ibrahim Karim uses. And it's a good definition. So you're looking for harmony in an environment. And the reason for showing this particular slide is that uh, 
the energy BG3 has three components and uh, there will be uses of colors uh, to show uh, uh, the resonance, uh, the colors that are associated or the energy, subtle energies that are associated uh, with the uh, energies of BG3. So if you have a sphere and you're outdoors, uh, where the sun shines on the sphere, you can find resonance with the color green. Um, and on the other side of the sphere, you'll find something called negative green. On the two so other sides, uh, you find red and violet as shown on the uh, uh, diagram here, picture here. If you draw a circle, in or and yeah, on the northerly direction of the circle, you'll find green. On the west direction, you'll find red. In the violet direction, you'll find. Uh, on the eastern direction, you'll find the color violet. And uh, so, that's what uh, these colors are in resonance with areas on that circle. So in terms of the concept of biogeometry, there's something called BG3, and uh, that's the energy that you detect whenever there is harmony present. It's a subtle energy, it's a quality that's associated with, the, with uh, harmony. And within that uh, BG3, whenever there's harmony, you'll also find the presence of three other color quality uh, harmonies. It's not the colors themselves, but it's a harmonic of those uh, colors. You'll find uh, anytime there's harmony uh, with regard to biogeometry or whenever there's what, what's called BG3 is present, you'll find these three energies, horizontal negative green, the higher harmonic of ultraviolet, in a higher harmonic of gold, which can be related to a color, but it is of gold. When these three are present, uh, and your uh, your pendulum is uh, in resonance with uh, BG3, these th these three qualities are there. And the tools that you use to find these uh, energies or to find BG3. Uh, are two types of pendulums. One is called a BG16 pendulum, which is shown on the left, and the other is the I-cup pendulum, which is shown on the right. And biogeometry works with uh, various, item, uh, various um, items and it works with qualities. Uh, you can use color, sound, touch, smell, taste, shape, uh, uh, and you can use these to uh, create the, the energy qualities of uh, BG3 and use the pendulum uh, to find it. Whenever BG3 is present, these pendulums, a BG16 or I cup pendulum, will rotate in a clockwise manner. Typically, you just get the pendulum moving in a to and fro manner. And as soon as uh, I, there's BG3 present, or if you're searching for BG3, um, and if that energy is present, the pendulum will rotate clockwise. And the BG3 can be quantitated. Uh, there's a BG3 ruler. Uh, and I won't go into the details of, of it, uh, but uh, other than to say that uh, certain angles will inhibit uh, the uh, BG3 energy uh, or that quality. And uh, if you pile up these uh, uh, angles, uh, it'll inhibit it. Uh, and so you can find the degree of strength of that uh, BG3 energy. And you can learn all about this uh, in the biogeometry courses, uh, uh, which if you look up biogeometry on the web, uh, you'll find uh, the key uh, 
uh, website for biogeometry, and that will give you where the courses uh, are given with regard to, to biogeometry. It is about environmental harmonizing. And uh, if you can bring in BG3 into environment, that is a good thing uh, because it can help uh, solve certain problems. Example, uh, Ibn Karim is the founder of biogeometry and he was commissioned to solve the problem of EMF hypersensitivities in a couple of uh, uh, cities in Switzerland. Hamburg and in Hirschberg. And he found that using BG3 tools that he created, he could harmonize uh, the energies coming out of the, the EMF energies uh, that were being emitted uh, from cell towers in those two cities. And by doing so, uh, he eliminated uh, the hypersensitivities in those cities. He used another tool called biosignatures uh, and uh, there was a study in Egypt with regard to hepatitis, comparing all the various drugs. And uh, him, Kareem, uh, got involved in that study and used biosignatures, which is a biogeometry tool. And using that, he was able to get better results than any of the drugs uh, that were being used in the study. And biogeometry has many tools from cubes, space harmonizers, material balancing wheels, uh, etc. cetera. Um, and the courses for biogeometry are superb and you really learn a heck of a lot. So that gives you an introduction to when I say BG3 in my YouTube, uh, you have an idea of what it is to really understand it a course is uh, a good way to, to do it. This is not the purpose of this, it's just to introduce you to the subject. Uh, this slide just gives you a list of YouTubes that I have created uh, so that uh, you can learn about subtle energies, you can learn about your ion vibrational level. Uh, there are new uh, materials that give off BG3 and uh, these structures of uh, that uh, uh, are fundamental to creation and uh, some of these energies have some new there's some new energies called 369 subtle energies they're related to the Torah structure uh, and all of this can be found in this series of YouTubes uh, that I've listed here so you'll learn more in more much more detail about resonance uh, and how you resonance um, how you do dowsing, how you get the field of the flow of energies uh, within your body and the energies that are used in dowsing, how to make sure your dowsing and your radiesthesia is accurate, uh, how you use uh, personal wavelength uh, to know what foods are good for you, um, how to measure vibrational energy, how to, how to detect the 369 energies, which is very important energy also to detect uh, what are the uh, materials called GANs, Ormus, Nano, and their fields, and why am I bringing it into this discussion, and then biogeometry. And with that, I'll stop the recording, and thank you for your attention in this matter.